Hey guys, it's Parker here from www.testprepchampions.com. Today I'd like to share with you a GED math video that covers mean, median, mode, and range, and an example problem. So let's get started. Okay, so let's go over the mean, median, mode, and range basics. The mean means the average, and we'll go over how to find the average in just a minute. The median is the middle number when the numbers are ordered from smallest to largest. It's very important to remember to order the numbers from smallest to largest. A lot of students remember that the median is the middle number fairly easily, but you have to remember to put the numbers in order first. The mode is the most occurring number in the data set. The mode can be identified by simply looking for the number that shows up the most in the data set. The range is the largest number minus the smallest number. To find the range, you just have to spot the biggest number in the data set and the smallest number in the data set, and you're just going to subtract. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at an example problem, and if you'd like to, go ahead and pause the video. Try to figure it out on your own first. Okay, so we're asked to find the mean, median, mode, and range for a given data set. So to do this, let's go ahead and start off with the mean. So remember, the mean means the average. So to find the mean of the data set, what we're going to need to do is add up all of the numbers in the data set. We're then going to take the sum and divide it by the total number of numbers in the data set. So we see that we have one, two, three, four, five numbers in the data set. That means that we're going to add all these numbers up divide by 5 and this is how we're going to find the mean. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to do 3 plus 7 plus 4 plus 2 plus another 3. And so we add these up and we're going to divide it by 5. Okay, so if we do 3 plus 7 plus 4 plus 2 plus 3, that gives us 19. And 19 divided by 5 is going to give us 3.8. So we use a calculator and we get 3.8 as the answer here. So knowing that the mean is 3.8, we can eliminate answer B, answer D, and answer E as well, which leaves us with just answer C and answer A. So the mean, again, is 3.8. Okay, so now let's move on with the median. And so to find the median, we want to look for the middle number, but we have to put the numbers in order from smallest to largest first. This is very important. So let's go ahead and rewrite these in order, and I'm going to do it up here. So we would go 2, 3, and the other 3, and then 4, and then 7. All right, so if we reorder these from smallest to largest, we get 2, 3, 3, 4, 7 as the order. So now that we've ordered these from smallest to largest, we simply go and find the middle number here. So the middle number is going to be 3, and therefore our median is 3. Okay, so we see that um, that would correspond with answer choice C, not answer choice A. So see how answer choice A has the median as equal to 4? So if you just look at the original data set without reordering the numbers, it's easy to get the question wrong by thinking that 4 is the median. However, that's incorrect. The correct answer now we know is going to be C. So we can cross out A. So even though we know the correct answer, let's go ahead and figure out the rest of it. So to find the mode, we want to look for the most occurring number. So we only have one 7 in the data set. There's only one 4. There's only one 2. But we have two 3s. So since 3 is the most occurring number, 3 is going to be the mode. So lastly, let's find the range. 
So to find the range, we want to identify the biggest number in the data set and the smallest number in the data set. So we already put the numbers in order, so this shouldn't be too hard. The biggest number is 7, smallest number is 2. So to find the range, and let me write this out here. So the range the range is going to equal 7 minus 2. And 7 minus 2 is 5, which matches with answer choice C. So answer choice C is the correct answer here. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really hope you found it helpful. In the next video, I'm going to cover some more mean, median, mode, and range cases that may show up on the GED test math section, and there'll be some more example problems as well. The problem that we just looked at came from the Champions Guide to Winning on the 2017 GED test math section from us, Test Prep Champions. You can find it now on our website, www.testprepchampions.com. You can also get a free 50-problem sample, and I'll leave the links below down in the description. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks again for watching. I really hope that you found this video helpful, and I want to wish everyone the very best of luck as you guys prepare to take the GED test math section. So feel free to reach out to me, get in touch with me if you have any questions about anything, and I look forward to filming more videos for you guys. Thanks again.